In this problem, we're told a 0.16 kilogram hockey puck is moving on an icy, frictionless horizontal surface. At t equals zero, the puck is moving to the right at three meters per second. A, calculate the velocity of the puck, magnitude and direction after a force of 25 newtons directly to the right has been applied for 0.05 seconds. B, if instead a force of 12 newtons directly to the left is applied from t equals zero to t equals 0 0.05 uh, seconds, what is the final velocity of the puck? So there's going to be two parts to this problem, but let's just write down what we're given first. So what are we told? So we know the puck is going to have a mass of 0.16 kilograms. So 0.16 kilograms, that's going to be the mass of this puck, right? It's going to be moving on a frictionless surface. And for A, so there's two different scenarios, but we're going to assume, uh, or for the first part, we know it's velocity, right? It's going to be moving at three meters per second. And so... Now let's, that's going to be the same for both. So let's start with A. So A is going to be, there's going to be a force of 25 newtons being applied, right? Direct or directed to the right, right? So force is going to be 25 newtons directed to the right. And the time this is going to be is 0 0.05 seconds. All right. So how do we want to go at solving this problem? The way, there's two main things you need to know. So we're going to solve this problem using momentum. And so you need to know momentum P is equal to mass times velocity. And there's another thing you need to know, which is impulse, right? So impulse, uh, which is also the change in the momentum, is essentially equal to force times uh, time. So if you have a force, right? In this problem, we have a force. What we're going to be able to do is multiply it by time. And that's going to allow us to uh, solve, right? So if we take a force and multiply it by time, that's going to be the impulse, okay? And so the way we're going to want to do this right, is we know that the final momentum of something, of just a collision, right, is equal to the initial momentum plus the impulse that occurs, right, so this thing right here, so plus the impulse, right, and this is the formula we're going to use to solve. So let's go ahead and think about this problem and how it works, and then I'll, uh, we'll lay it out. So uh, imagine this right here is our uh, hockey puck, right, so here's our hockey puck, it's going to have a force directed to the right that's going to be 25 newtons, okay? So that's our drawing. And so let's start with the final momentum. Or sorry, yeah, so let's start with initial, actually. So what's the initial momentum, right? So the initial momentum is just going to be P, which is mass times velocity. So what's the mass in the beginning? The mass stays constant, but it's 0.16. And then multiply it by the velocity at the beginning, which it's moving 3 meters per second in the beginning, right? So times it by 3. What's the impulse going to be? Well, we know it's the force multiplied by the time uh, it's being applied, right? So it's going to be the force, which is 25, multiplied by the time, which is 0 0.05, right? Now let's do the final momentum. So we know momentum is mv. So mv, do we know the mass at the end? Uh, we do, right? Because it's the same mass throughout. So it's 0 0.16. And then do we know the velocity, right? We don't know the velocity at the end, but what we can do is, since we have this equation laid out, now what we can that's uh, we're going to be able to solve for it. Right? And that's what it wants us to find. It wants us to calculate the velocity of the puck after this has been applied, right? So the final velocity, right? And so notice it's just V. We just got to solve for V. So divide both sides by 0.16, right? And this is going to give you it. So you just want to do 3 times, or 0.16 times 3 plus 25 times 0 0.05, and then divide by 0.16. And when you do this, you're going to get V equals 10.8125, right? So that's going to be the velocity. Right, so that's going to be the first part. And so keep in mind that it's in, you can round however you want. So if you want to just round A1, but I'm just going to leave it. So keep in mind it's meters per second, right? Uh, so yeah, this right here is your answer to A, your first part. Now let's think about B. So what's the difference between B? So in B, right, so this is our A drawing. Now let's do the B drawing. So here's our puck. So what's going to be different about B? So B, instead of the force being 25 newtons to the right, it's going to be 12 newtons to the left. So now it's going to be 12 newtons to the left, right? We're still assuming it's traveling uh, three meters per second to the right, right? And so we're going to do the same exact thing we do here, but what's different about this problem? Well, it's the force times the time, right? The force is different. Instead of being 25 to the right, it's going to be 12 to the left, meaning since it's to the left, we have to label it negative, right? So this is going to be 25, but this is going to be minus 12 because we label right positive, left negative. So instead of uh, 25 here, we're just going to have minus 12, and it's just that simple. So essentially just replace everything we had, right? 
times 3 plus, and then it's minus 12 times 0 0.05. And then you can divide again by this. So just do 0.16 times 3, and then plus minus 12 times 0 0.05, and then divide by 0.16. And when you do this, you're going to get minus 0.75. So minus 0.75, and then keep in mind the units again, meters per second. And so keep in mind what this tells us. This is going to be uh, 0.75 meters per second, and the negative specifies it's to the left. So you would say 0.75 meters per second to the left, right? And then the first part was 10.8125 uh, to the right, right, because it's positive. So yeah, this right here is going to be your answer to the first part, so 10.81 and you round however you want to the right, and then the final velocity in part B is 0.75 uh, meters per second to the left. But yeah, so these are your answers, and uh, hopefully you found this useful.